Hello everyone and welcome to the third session of French class 9 CBSE chapter 1 that is La Famille and in this class we will be discussing the literature part and we are going to do some conversation okay so let's get started so first of all we have a conversation over here let's read the conversation and try to understand so the conversation is between two characters over here we have Denny and Ali in the previous class, um, in the first class, I think we talked about four characters. Um, we Denny Marte. Yes, we talked about this character. Yes or no? We talked about it, the family tree. Yes, and I gave you the homework that make the family tree. Now, avant le cours, that means before the class. What happened before the class? Denis, je vous présente mon père et ma mère, mes autres invités sont en retard. What does it mean? It is saying that I am going to present my father and mother. Okay, Denis is going to present, je vous présente mon père et ma mère, mes autres invités sont en retard. Retard meaning late. Okay. Zotre is others. Autre. That means others invited are late. So that's why I'm going to. Voici Catherine, sa père et avocat, sa mère et secrétaire et ses cousins sont encore étudiants. So he then he's saying that there is Catherine. Her father is an advocate. Avocat is advocate. Then sa mère est secrétaire. Her mother is secretary. Okay, and ses cousins sont encore étudiants. Encore meaning still. That her cousins are still students. Okay. Then Ali says, Où est ta soeur et ton cousin Pierre, tes grands-parents? Now, what is happening? That Ali is asking Denny that what about your sister? What, sorry, what about her sister? What about her cousin Pierre and grandparents? Right, so okay, so he just asked like this, and this is the descriptive paragraph. You need to write a descriptive paragraph on your family. This is a very, very important question which has come many a times in the exam that write a descriptive paragraph on your family. Now, the vrai ou faux. This is a true false based question. Whatever we read. On the, and this can even come in your exam, so just make sure that you. Le père de Denis est médecin. Is it so? I. This is your homework. You need to tell me in the comment the answers. I think this is about Denis that we did not on the first, in the first class that family tree. You need to visit that family tree, and then you have to do everything right. Because that this is based on the text. So if you will read that family tree and the chart, you will be easily be able to answer this true or false question. And please, the descriptive paragraph on the family is a fixed question from this chapter. And now the topics left are the articles that we are going to do in our next class, the articles while a topic. And now we are going to do literature. Basically, in this literature is not given. I would just like to show you whatever is given in the literature part yes so if i talk about the literature where is it yes at the last we have the literature part yes but here you can see just a picture is given so it's a little bit difficult to understand and this is given. So what to do now? That's why I have made uh, this is chapter two that we cannot do right now. So I have made some questions that we're going to do on the basis of literature. So let's get started with those questions. So there are some statements over here that is La France s'appelle l'Hexagone. Now this is a statement and on the basis of there's a question can be Pourquoi on appelle la France l'Hexagone? Meaning that why do we say the 
Frank Hexagon. I am telling you the answer. On appelle la France l'hexagone parce que la carte la France appelle au moins la forme d'un l'hexagon. Let me write it over here so that you don't get confused. On appelle la France l'hexagon, meaning hexagon. France is also known as hexagon. Parsica because. Okay, Parsica, we have already done in I think 7th or 8th standard. Parsica, la carte de la France. Appliu au moins la France. Carte means map. So the map of France is basically like a hexagon. If you have just seen the map of France, so it is like a hexagon. That's why it is called as like the first literature question done. So what points you need to include? First point you have to talk about card. This word should be there because map is somewhat like this. I would just show you the map. See like this. The map is somewhat like this. So it is like hexagon. Yes or no? The map is like the hexagon only. So it is somewhat like this. So if I am not wrong, see first card thing you need to tell, then a plume la form, that means the shape. Here we are talking about the shape. The map's shape is depicting a hexagon. That's why it is hexagon. I hope first question is clear. Now, second important thing here you need to understand about the cities of France. You should at least know five cities of France. Okay, a question can come nommé uh, de vie française or tre, uh, trois vie française, quatre, cinq, whatever. I have given here six cities of France, Paris, Lyon, Nice, Marseille, Avignon, Nantes. You can read Bordeaux. Okay, there are many, many cities in France, but these are the popular ones. Paris, so you should remember Lyon, Nice, Marseille, Avignon, Nantes. These cities can be asked in literature. From literature perspective, these cities are very important. First question was that, like, question can come on the basis of the shape of the map of France, that why France is called as hexagon. Second, then, about the cities, here we have. Now we are moving towards the third question. Now we need to know about the rivers of France, Les Fleurs Francaises. The rivers of France are very important. So we have La Seine, La Ronde, La Garonne, La Loire, La Rennes. These five rivers are important. Yes, yeah, so these rivers you should understand and which river passes through Paris that is very important. That is La Seine. Okay, this is the river which passes. Okay, so we have done three questions for today and next session will be literature part two in which we'll be doing 12 questions. There are total 15 questions from literature from the first chapter, okay? So in the next session, we'll be doing the rest 12 questions. I think we have done four. One was hexagon, cities can come, rivers and the rivers which passes through Paris. That is last ten. Now we are gonna do mountains, okay? And some terms like mosh, course and some full forms that you need to remember from this chapter in literature part. Otherwise, literature is very, very easy. Basically, you will get MCQs and in our sprint series. See, first, this is our victory series going on. Then we'll have sprint series in which we'll cover all the important questions that can be asked in your exam chapter wise. According to the deleted portion, maybe we I could include the other portion as well because the session is about to end so you need to stay tuned till then so let's say goodbye now bye bye take care